your target, you see them in the low state. We change the thing, looking all hooded out, cracked out, arrowed out. The most high is flipping it around. But these are these are snares that they brought upon us. This particular test, basically the one that laid snares, and you can follow through his own trap, man. And that's what's coming, man. The most high sent us to the spirit for them to put all this stuff out here, and now they still stepping in that same bear trap that yeah. they set up for Jake, man. Right, 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 right. Yep. The, op the opioid epidemic, man, that's running rapid, man. <laughs> See? But here they talk about Ray Ray and Pookie in the hood that's selling drugs to each other, which is bad, and we rebuke our people and tell them, hey, that's off, man. Y'all got to be going at me. That's witchcraft. Uh, we go back to the word, uh, the Greek word, pharmakia. Yeah, pharmakia. You know, that's witchcraft, so we be selling drugs and all that. Food. And our people, people were sick, and we walked in that day to shoot. But we know who the heck, we know who the, uh, the world champion of selling drugs is, Esau. The whole pharmaceutical industry controls all the drugs and put them on the street. Yeah, they make money. Yeah. And, 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 and that's the yeah. word that they Bible and burning. Burning, yeah. I but they took out the apocrypha. You see? 
Let me get this because now we're about to now we're about to go into something else, but now it's about to all go and tie in while you're holding them two verses right here. So I'm gonna get the description of dealing with the sacred people. Second second address two verse 34. Two verse 34 says uh in uh Ezra is still the this is the priest Ezra. Same person. Okay, all right. Uh second Ezra or second Ezra. 2 verse 34, it says, oh, I'll start at 30, 33, it says, I, Ezra, received a charge of the Lord upon the Mount Horeb, that I, that I, that I should go into Israel, but when I came unto them, they sent me I not to despise the commandment of the Lord, and therefore I stand to you. Oh, he heathen. He's talking to Israel. See, the same people that said I'm not not. He didn't want to hear the same thing. Same thing they did with the same thing they did with the rest of the old forefathers, the prophets. Okay. It says, and therefore I say to you, oh, he heathen, that hear and understand. Look for your shepherd. He shall give you everlasting rest. For he is nigh at hand that shall come in the end of the world. You know, who's our shepherd? The house shot so he is our shepherd, the Messiah. Okay? So, uh, he was reading that scripture, right? Where he, where he, where he called us heathen. I couldn't help but to have a thought pop in my mind. Because I got, I got three brothers. We would be running around. Hey, you ain't never had an older woman above you, like your grandma or your mom call you a heathen? Nah, uh, well, we, Because we was running around like little heathens, man. That's what they, yeah, that's most, what they say. Most of my teachers I got from my mom. Okay. And she used to tell me to say, I mean, her knowledge was limited. You know what I'm saying? But, of course, when I studied, she was like, you don't ever believe in none of this. You definitely don't believe in him. That's his faith. She said, she would always say, this is, this is on the side. Okay. She would always, and she would always point to this. To his tracks. In the emerald garment. And she would always say, if you would ever see the image of the Messiah, how does the Bible describe the way he looked? Right. He has a, a fierce look in his eyes. Right. She said, but if you look at the image that everybody the image portrays, the she, was, saw, she said, saw point blank, he looks like a faggot. Matter, yeah. ma ma right, matter of fact, go to yours, go to trying to be 3 and 48. No, that's right, that's I mean, true. That's, that's what you're saying, he looked 3 and 48. Soft. Yeah, he looked yeah. really soft. He looked like a woman. That's right, that's right. That's right. See? We, yeah, because you know we know the Lord was a masculine man, very masculine, masculine men, and we come from a nation of masculine men. But yeah, we, we have been world. we have been dumbed down and been have uh, what is it called? Feminized, feminized, right? Emasculated. Yeah. Well, call it straight. We saw even the so-called white. Men. 
Yeah, all by design. All by design. See? Read that. First Maccabees 3 and 48. Backing up with your, uh, uh, your, 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 like uh, like uh, Kate, like Jenner. What was his name? Uh, Caitlyn Jenner. Caitlyn Jenner. They call Bruce Jenner. Bruce Jenner. Bruce Jenner. He's a hero. Then they got this one show I saw. I forget what it's called. But it had black. We say black man. Black. It was gay. And he was he was this masculine gay dude. Like I whip your ass, honey. But also on some out of step with the man type of shit. Just just completely wicked. Go ahead. Right. First Maccabees three and forty eight. All right, this is 1 Maccabees 3 and 48. Uh -huh. And laid open the book of the law. And they laid open the book of the law. And did what? Wherein the heathen, wherein the heathen did what? Had sought to paint the likeness of their images. They, they sought to paint likenesses of their images. See, so when you think of the prophets, uh, the people in the Bible, right? The Israelites, the prophets, uh, the Heavenly Father himself, uh, our Savior, uh, the, the, the Holy Angels, they all go back to what? Looking like them. But that's white supremacy right there. See? And if the Bible wasn't so true, then what, well, why would they do? Why would they go around the whole, the whole earth, right, through the Renaissance period, and destroy all the dark images of our people to take the land? Yeah, Start with this. They got rid of all the wars. Right, right. They, they, they got rid of some of them, but we had we were ruling for so long and it's so great power. We got so many images and statues and things like that that they couldn't destroy them all. They can't even hide them. So that's why when you go into the churches like uh, Russia, they still got uh, pictures of the Black Madonna. See, they got Poland. real images. They got real images yeah, of the they Lord. Got, they got Poland. pictures of the Pope. Italy yeah. and Poland bowing, bowing down. down. Yeah. Right. Come on now. They got images. They got. I believe it's in Italy. Italy. They got a, a wooden sculpture. Oh, it's right there. Right there. Right there. Image of the Lord. Look at this. So when you go to these different places, they know. They know. You see, but it's here in America, Babylon and Great, where people don't. They really don't know, and really they don't care. You see, they feel it's not important, but the truth is important. Right, and those images are from a book called Russian Icons. Russia Icons, right. And they want to say that a little bit louder. Those images, also the paintings and stuff, and stuff are from, uh, it's not important. Oh, did it? Oh, I must have hit something. Shoot. Hey, how are you? I'm here to go up work. Go ahead, say it again, bro. Say it again, bro. Yeah, those images on that sign are from a book. Uh, called the Russian icon. Right, and Esau tore thousands, about over ten thousand dollars for for that book, man. Why? Because they don't, they don't want to tell the truth that all, we ruled Europe. You see, white people, the Edomites, they didn't rule Europe first. We ruled Europe. I, I don't know how people don't know this information, man. You see? They're hiding. Yeah, right. We ruled Europe right. before you. So my my next see? question would be Jacob Esau. Okay, hey. let's let's. Right. We're gonna get to that. Uh, first Maccabees one. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Real quick. Real quick. Because you talked about being grafted in. Right. And being grafted in comes with the blessings, the promises, right? Right. So what's the part? Of, what's the major part of that promise? Oh, I'll read it. Let's get the scripture. It's um, Romans eleven. Oh, what you got, brother? We definitely wanted that. Um, this is, this is question. So I'm, I want to read it. Uh, you want to read for me? Okay. Uh, this is the book of Romans, 11, verse 16. It says, "For a first, for if the first root be holy, the lump is also holy. And if the root be holy, so are the branches." Right? But who, but who are the branches? Israelites, Israelites, right? So even when you are uh, Isaiah, my, my boy at work on flip my show. Yes, you can receive it. Right, right. Hey, I've, I've been ever since we started working together. I've been showing the stuff in the Bible. Okay, and he been you know kind of working into it. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, Isaiah five verse seven. It says. For the vineyard of Yahweh of hosts is the house of Israel and the men of Judah his pleasant plant. And he looked for judgment, but behold, oppression for righteousness, but behold, a Christ. And you know the Lord's vineyard uh, is the Israelites. Okay? And even with that cluster of grapes that he, uh, that he has kept, Israel, all Israel. 
when we go back here, uh, the Romans 16. Well, I might need, I might need to. Uh, damn, I'll tell you. It says, for the first fruit be holy, the lump is holy, the root be holy, so are the branches. And if some of the branches be broken off, and thou being a wild olive tree, were red, and amongst them, and with them partaketh of the root and fatness of the olive tree. Right, uh, hey, you being a wild olive tree, you're grafted yeah. into the, to the natural olive tree. I'm right here. It's not olives and olives. Okay. Olives and olives. Now, uh, I, I want to get the precept. You have more? I got precept for you. Good. Jeremiah 11, verse 16. Yahweh called thy name a green olive tree, fair and abundantly fruit, with the noise of a great tumult. He hath kindled a fire upon it, and the branches of it are broken. Because the most high, there were people who knew that they were Israelites, and they got grafted out, man. They got broken up, broken out. Because of their unbelief. Unbelief. That's the thing. It's an idolatry. It goes like six things. Verse 17, it says, for the Lord, for Yahweh of hosts that planted thee have pronounced evil against thee. For the evil of hosts of Israel, men of the house of Judah, which they have done against themselves to provoke me to anger and offering incense to Baal. Like I said, the idol worship. But when you go into Israel, I look to get back. When you go into Israel, Israel represents the northern kingdom, and uh, Judah represents the southern kingdom. It belongs to uh, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. Now, when you look at that, it's uh, they were they were the Jews in the Holy Land, right? Uh, keeping the, the way, okay, keeping the customs of the Holy Land. The ones, you know, that that were scattered afar off, you know. Even even some of the Jews that were the ones that got scattered afar off that were uh, being called Israelite foreigners, and all to different lands and into different, you know, into different idols. Some of them may have been, some of them wasn't. They wasn't keeping the customs. So I just thought it was a very beautiful time. to back it up. Would you got something or you just want to read it? That's why I want to read it. Jeremiah 2 and 21. It says, okay, it says, verse 20, it says, for, for of old time I have broken thy yoke and burst thy band, and thou saidest, I will not transgress. Right? And that's what we have said. You know, okay, Lord, we're going we're gonna, to turn back to you. We're going to do faith. We're going to do right. We're not going to idol worship no more. We're not going to sacrifice you. Doing different idols, we're gonna keep thy ways, we're gonna keep thy laws, thy commandments. Right. Right? But then it says, um, and under every green tree thou wanderest playing the harlot. So now the Lord said, Look, man, y'all are harlots. It's because uh, Israel was likened to a woman. She was the to call a woman. See, but when we got into different idol worship, it was a uh, spiritual fornication, right? It It says, Verse 21, yet I have planted thee a noble vine, a holy ripe seed. How then art thou turned into the degenerate plant of a strange vine and tree? Well, the Lord looking at us, you know, as a people like, y'all ain't, ain't acting like y'all my, my people, man. This is not the ways that uh, uh, you were supposed to be brought up in. Why, like, why are you doing that? Why are you behaving yourself in this heathenistic manner? Hold on, one you know, that's how the Lord was looking at us. Why, why we behaving ourselves in heathen this manner? I gave you my laws. I gave you my statutes. I gave you my judgments. Right? You know, uh, I gave you my ways to follow. See, but with us uh, not uh, uh, obeying the Lord's voice, right? Being disobedient, got us, you know, scattered into all the different lands. You know, get, getting us kicked by our enemies even till even until this day. Yeah. I mean, you had to, like, like the brother, like the sister was going into, like the brother was going into, he was like the woman of the most high. So, that's like you have a woman, you know, and let's just take it from a funny angle. You have a woman, and she can sleep with another man, and she come back, you're going to be like, I ain't never seen you act like this. What's going on? You're acting brand new. That's exactly how it was with us. But we spiritually fornicated against the most high. He looked at us like, who are you? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what's But if thou boast, thou bearest not the root, but the root deep. So, so uh, Paul was saying, like, don't boast against the branches. You know, them uh, being the Jews and the Holy. See, but y'all being brought back in. Okay, so don't don't boast against them. Right? Um, let's see if I got it. Oh. Okay. Right? A precept of back, back to what I'm saying. The book of Zechariah. Um, 12 verse 7 it says uh, the Lord or Yahweh also shall save the, save the tents of Judah first that the glory of the house of David and, the, and of the glory of the inhabitants of Jerusalem do not magnify themselves against Judah that's what he's talking about but don't boast yourself against the branch. now why do you think the Lord wants to go speak uh, uh, to uh, the Jews first or they all went to the Jews first because the Lord says what the Lord shall also save the tents of Judah first. So he was supposed to go with Judah first. See? Because Judah's the head trap. See, they're the head trap. See, we're supposed to go with Judah first. You know, but a lot of them were then that unbelief, man. So they, had, they let them be. Um, right now. Just, oh, man, right now. Um, yes, that's the point of it. So it's, so it says uh, back in Romans 11 verse 18 it says, Boast not against the branches But if thou boast But if thou boast Thou bearest not the root But the root deep Thou wilt say then The branches were broken off That I might be grabbed in Right so it says The branches were broken off Right The, the Jews in the Holy Land Right uh, That I might be grabbed in See so now it's going to be a chance For an Israelite corner To be grabbed in Okay no, being also called as the Gentiles. <laughs> well, because of unbelief, they were broken off. You see, as I was going into, they were broken off because of their unbelief. They didn't, a lot of them did not believe in the Messiah. Even though we know the, the scriptures are written about the Messiah, even the Old Testament. But a lot of them was a bunch of unbelievers. It says, they will say then the branches were broken off that I might be grabbed in. Well, because of unbelief, they were broken off, and thou standest by faith. You see, because they was coming in through the hearing of the word. Remember, uh, Apostle Paul went out to, uh, uh, you know, to uh, all the Israelite corners and to teach them the word. But they was coming in through the faith. See? Starting, starting. Let me point. Let me say this first. Starting with an uh, Israelite by the name of Cornelius, man. Okay, he was the beginning of the coming in of the Israelite form. Period, man. Okay? Because you got a lot of people out there that say Israel, uh, Cornelius wasn't an Israelite. No, oh, man. Okay? He, the scripture says uh, Cornelius was a devout man. See? A, man that, uh, a devout man is a man that feared for no time. Then all the people that fear the Lord is Israelite. True. They don't care. Yeah, God is not always in the talk. Right. So verse 21 it says Verse 21 it says For if for if oh so I'll read 20 again. Well because of, of unbelief they were broken off and thou standest by faith. Be not high minded but fear. He said, he said, don't be too high minded. Don't get too you know, high minded because y'all being brought in for hey, you know, Don't be proud. Because you know? you'll be deceiving yourself. Like I said, you won't bear the root, but the root will bear thee. Basically, most I'm going to use you for what for what, for what he's going to use you for, and he's going to cash you off. Just like the mother branch. You got pride. Right. Yeah, right. Yeah, they were to go that route, right? It says verse 21. For if the most high spirit, not the natural branches, Take heed that ye also spare not thee. So who are the natural branches? The Jews in the Holy Land. You see, so the other branches being grabbed in with the Israelite corners. See, being brought back in through faith. Natural branches, wild olive branches. Yeah, but. Find out there and bring in, which is what they were doing when they was 
you know, all of them. Still all the branches, all of the same tree. Right, same stock. Same stock. You can't uh, get another, you know, uh, another fruit, another fruit and grab uh, it with it. It's not even going to grow right. So, yeah, so, just, yeah, just going into the answer. Uh, yeah, I got another one. Hebrew 4. Four more minutes. Hebrew 4. You know, because all these precepts solidify things and back to the point you drive home. Um, Hebrews 4 verse 1, it says, Let us therefore fear that the promise thing left us of entering into his rest. Any of you should seem to come short of it. For unto us was the gospel preached as well as it is to be. But the word priest did not profit them. See, why? Because they didn't believe. Not being mixed with faith in them that heard it. Them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt. 
because they continued not in my covenant, and I regarded them not, saith the Lord. That's when we became heathens to the Most High, because he didn't regard us no more. For this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, saith Yahweh. I will put my laws into their minds and write them in their hearts. I will be to them a power, and they shall be to me a people. All possess a pronoun uh, uh, aimed at the children of Israel. And they shall not teach every man his neighbor, and every man his brother, saying, They shall not teach every man his neighbor, and every man his brother, saying, Know your hour, for all shall know me, from the least to the greatest. Israelites. All Israelites only. All Israelites, man. You're not going to have to learn. The natural Israelites are the leaders of Israel. They don't have to learn nothing. They're going to have it all written. And these heathens, I don't care if they were the nice Edomite, the evil Edomite, or whatever you want to call them. They're going to have to learn from us, man. They ain't getting grabbed Preset. Isaiah 2. Isaiah 2. Read Isaiah 2 with me. Hold on, brother. Isaiah 2 and 2. and two. This is Isaiah 2 and 2. This is Isaiah 2 and 2. Right. And it shall come to pass in the last days uh -huh. that the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established right. in the tops of the mountains and shall be exalted above all Salakia. Shall be above the hills. They shall be exalted above the hills, and all nations shall flow unto it. Okay, so yeah, okay, right. So all nations will flow unto it, right? You did, brother. Just do that. I was looking for the one that might. Uh, nations won't basically have to follow up. Whatever we want to teach the nations. Okay, so what's your question, brother? I'm a fan. Oh, oh yeah, we we get yeah we got this. What's your question? Why did they God fight them? Why did they fight them? Because they because they're the devil. That's why. There will be right there, him right there, right there. They're the devil. Why did they fight? Always when we little kids. Right, because they're the devil. I didn't understand. Because they are the deceiver. Devil means deceiver. So they still going to take, I understand. They use that image to deceive I'm the people. The I'm they the use that image coming. to deceive the people with white supremacy. That's what I'm trying to get to. So now when our people think upon or look at white people, what do they look at them as such? As a great, a holy, right? A people of the Lord. You ever read that book before the made from? No, but I know who was going to shit. Watch out, jump, kids, jump, jump. Because the people. Our disobedience, the most high, got us. We, we can't raise our kids. We're that's it. Yeah. That's part of it. Well, that's, that, but that's Esau's with the decrees. He's done, he done that. But we can't uh, raise our kids the right way. We can't put them in the church. We're going to jail. Because he wants our kids to be out there living long. They want to keep us locked up. That too. That too is the money racket. But right. we're trying to... That's all. It all goes back to the church. Deuteronomy 28. You read other curses of Deuteronomy 28 in the Bible, King James Version, it tells you the curses that will come upon the children of Israel for their disobedience. Okay, one of those curses is that you will see your children taken away. And spiritually, our children are being taken away. Yeah. You will have no might in your hand to save them. So that might in your hand, yeah, of course, of course. Now that hand, that might in your hand is your discipline towards your child. So that's one of the ways you took the strength out of your hand watch to watch save your children. Watch this, watch this, they have more power than this. Why should we be evil? No, but because because the, the, Lord, never, the Lord put put them above us for our disobedience. Lord, oh, this, this is our punishment to be ruled over by these heathens. Right. This doesn't feel like a punishment to you. We are oppressed on every level. I we gotta go to him. Hold on. He governs. He's on his power to govern the whole world. Give me Job 9 24. He has been given the power to govern the whole world. But we just put his judgment under his hand, right? For our disobedience. We don't know what was a bad time. No, we're not. 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 We're not.